Hey YouTube, Chris here from Flipping Cars and welcome to another video in my Tips for Flips series. And one of my last videos was the Tips for Flips, how to beat the chip and it proved really popular. So I wanted to continue that series with another set of Tips for Flips. In this video, what I'm gonna cover is three things that every car dealer, as you scale your business, should have because these are the common things that are gonna happen to you all the time. So let's check out tip number one. happens all the time, the flat battery. The last thing you need when you've got a punter on the way to check out a car is a flat battery. So it's always important that you make sure you turn the engine over frequently, maybe give it a quick spin up the road at least once a week if you're sitting on that car. But as a car flipper, one of the most important bits of kit you're gonna have is the battery jump start kit and get yourself a good one. Invest in a quality one. I used to have a Halfords one and it was crap. It was good for pumping up tires because it had a tire inflation kit on it. That's another good thing to have, tire inflation kit. But it was absolutely crap for jumping anything that needed a bit of power. So I invested in a decent one from the Snap-on wagon. So what I would suggest is invest in a proper jump start kit. It will save you many hours of messing about, especially when you've got a customer on the way. There's nothing worse than trying to faff about, trying to get a car started. When you know someone's on the way to look at that car, you're gonna lose the sale. And, and next on my list, guys, is something that curses all car dealers. It's such a pain in the backside when this happens, but you go to the car, you're excited to show the person. Can I take it for a test drive? Of course you can, but guess what? There's no fuel in that car, so you have to either faff about with the customer going around to the fuel station, you look a complete idiot, or you have to refuse that test drive or let them take their chances that they're gonna make it back on an empty tank. So I always keep a couple of jerry cans of petrol and diesel just to hand, just in case I have a car that may have already been out on a couple of test drives and I've not kept an eye on the fuel tank and it's run out of fuel, so I can top it up and get that test drive done. It's one of those things, a lot of car dealers will charge 15 or 20 quid extra on top of a car sale to put some fuel in for that customer, but as the small time trader, we probably haven't got the luxury of doing that. We've got to make sure there's some fuel in that tank, and if there isn't, because we've done several test drives in that car already, we need to have some ready to drop into that car. So buy yourself a couple of jerry cans, one for diesel, one for your petrol, so you're ready to show that car and let that person have the test drive. And my final tip for this video, guys, is get yourself organized. As you scale your business and start to sell more than one or two cars, you need to get yourself organized. I put all my keys and all my documents for each car in their own separate box there. One thing I always do as well, and I'll take one of these home because I'm not always at the unit, but you can guarantee as soon as you go home and sit down and chill out and relax in the evening, the phone will go, someone wants to buy that car off you, and they'll fire the questions at you that you do not know because the car and the docks are kept away from your home. So one of the things I do to keep myself organized is I make a few notes. I keep one at the office and one at home and it covers simple things like the full derivative of that car and the specification. So when they call up, Chris, has he got a pan roof? I can double check because you can guarantee once you've gone past selling two or three cars at any one time, you will not remember. I also put down all the additional spec and I make a note whether it's ULES compliant or low emission zone compliant because so many people these days now will not buy a car if it's less than a Euro 6 vehicle because they want to drive it into a town centre without being charged the earth. I also put on there a few extra checklists, FAQ checklists, how many keys, how many previous keepers, when the MOT expires and also the service history as well. And people want to know all about the service history. Is it full? Is it part? Is it main dealer? Has it been done by the local garage? So in this instance, I've printed off the full service history and I tend to make those notes on that piece of paper that I keep at the office and that I keep at home too. So it's nice and easy for me to access that information. It helps me get the sale every time I list a car because I have that information to hand. The last thing you need is the customer on the phone wanting to buy your car and you don't have that information to hand, so they phone somebody else and they do. They, by the time you've faffed about trying to find it out, they've gone off, they've put a deposit down and you've lost the sale. It will slow the flip down. So we always try and make sure we have all the info to hand, regardless of where you are, whether that's at the unit, whether that's at your storage yard, whether that's at home, or 
you need that information to hand, simple as that. So I tend to have it written down so I don't have to start going through piles and reams of paper. And just another little note, with your keys, curse of the car dealer, always losing keys, I tend to put my spare keys and my main key in the box too, so it's all to hand. And actually, one final thing that will fit nicely into this video, make sure you've got, as well as your fuel, some fluids. So make sure you've got some extra oil, some extra coolant, and some extra screen wash as well. And if the car takes add blue, some add blue, because there's nothing worse than doing the test drive and something is a little bit down on the fluids. It's good to have those fluids on standby so you can quickly top up. There's nothing worse than the customer come in, they've spent 20 minutes kicking the tires, now you wanna get the sale, but it's low on screen wash, or it's the coolant needs topping up just a touch, or the oil is on the minimum line. Let's make sure we can top the car up with those fluids and we've got those to hand. There's nothing worse, nothing to say. Give us a half hour, I'll pop down to Halfords and get the bits for you. Because by the time you've done that, they're long gone, you've missed the sale and you're back to square one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see in my YouTube videos. Remember, each time I publish a video, one of the people who leaves a comment and who is subscribed to my channel will get a chance to win one of these flipping cars t-shirts. It won't be ironed just like this one, but it will be a brand new t-shirt. So to enter, simply subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks very much.